Dear students, we have before us here this Marcus Ide. The entire illustration is done by our head of the department, Sri Sarat Kumar sir. It's beautifully illustrated. Here we have uh, the leader of the party. The name of the party yesterday we discussed, and that is PAP. Easy to remember because it coincides with one of the Indian words, PAP. And that way, there is a lot of PAP committed in politics. People's Alliance Party. The name of that party is People's Alliance Party. And that is the ruling party now. And there is the outgo outgoing government. And that is incoming also, we saw yesterday. And the candidate from this party in this constituency is Marcus Ibe. The Minister of Culture. He is holding the Ministry of Culture, portfolio of the culture. And uh, here we see him. As we proceed, we will come to know that here he is making speeches during the day. And this is called the whispering campaign. He has not planned in his mind that during the day, daytime he would be making speeches, talking with the people. Political leaders talk about morals, morality, patriotism, and so many good things. But only those things do not help them win. He knows who will win. I know who wins. Ultimately, Marcus Hebe is to win, and he has been planning for that. And these crowds take us to his plans. This is there, which transpires, which happens in his mind. And this second illustration, it is about one more plan that we are about to discuss. This is called Whispering Campaign. Whispering Campaign is taken up by the voice of Marcus Hebe, activists of that party. This is the night campaign. During night, they meet the villagers, the people. And this is not a new thing for us. That before the election, just before the election, people are given so many things. Many times openly. What's that? They are given clothes. They are given food packets. They are given color TV. They are given laptops. So many things. But secretly, they are given, what are these? Symbolically presented. They are the shillings, coins, money. Money is distributed. Money matters. Finally, money matters matter. So it's money that seals the fate. It's money that determines the result. Money rules. So during night, whispering in the sense whisper is a talk done in the lowest term. Conspiratorial voice. Low tone, speaking like this, not making any sound. That is called whisper. Whispering campaign, the name itself suggests that it's a secret campaign taken by these political leaders. Political leaders as these. And he is his activist. We have been talking about him. Rufus OKK. Rufus OKK, or in short, he is called as Mr. Roof. And he is doing this job. Right? And this is the boss where one has to insert the slip, ballot paper. What's the ballot paper? Ballot paper is the piece of paper on which you will find the list of the people, list of the candidates who are contesting the elections. And we have a tick mark, or we have to put some certain sort of mark against the name of the candidate whom we are, uh, whom we would like to win, to whom we would vote. That fellows against his name, we have to mark the box. Very nicely presented here, the man in the, in the traditional attire, with a smile writ large on his face. However, this is a fake smile. Politicians do never wear a genuine smile. They never smile genuinely. 
the smile does not come from their heart it is concocted it's the handiwork it's the management of the muscles on the face simply spreading the lips showing the artificial glint in the eyes whereas in the heart in the mind they have got very ferocious plans their only aim is to win let us come to the text now we have finished one paragraph where we got to know that mr roof who happened to be the popular fellow in the village the name of the village what is the name of the village omofia the name of the village is omofia and he sacrificed his career a bright future is sacrificed for the sake of the people of the village because they needed guidance at that time in the difficult times but in fact the times were not difficult i told you what difficulty they were facing election times it was and i came to guide his people during that time and this fellow the voucher was very much seasoned he had become very perfect he could guess the mood of the people as was uh, to be expected roof was in the service of the honorable minister for the coming elections the elections were due and for these elections mr roof was working for working under marcus ibe now what about him how clever was he let us talk about this attribute of his personality he had become a real expert in election mr roof had become a real expert in election and what did this expertise what is what is this expert is related to that he could predict he could predict about the elections at various levels he had become a real expert in election campaigning at all levels village local government or national whatever level it is he could tell the mood and temper of the electorate at any given time see what is his expertise his expertise his skill is that he could tell the mood of the people that is he could predict what the people are coming to do what they would do what's going to happen in the elections to come so he was just that capacity not just at the local level he could do it his prediction he could do it at the national level elections also for instance example is given here for instance he had warned the minister once ago about the radical change that had come into the thinking of homophobia since the last election last election he was chosen as their leader since that last election the five years are about to be over and elections are due and he has guessed the mood of the people and he let the people he let his master marcus ibe know how the people are thinking what kind of change has come over them a change has swept over them right thoda sa change aa gaya hai what was that change now they saw they had seen the people of mofia though they were villagers illiterate are not formally educated these people could perceive these people could see that how marcus ibe who or what was he he was a non entity himself what was he he was just a school teacher you know in politics most of the people who entered politics most of them did not have a very glorious background they do not come from royal families and even though they come from the humble background they rise to such a great height that they get that they gain everything they get they achieve they amass so many things now here the villagers had had five years and during these five years they got to see how quickly and plentifully plentifully means so much you know large quantity politics brought what did politics bring to marcus ibe wealth of course people distribute wealth before the elections But when the elections are over when they come to power now they know how to get back their money 
politics brought wealth chief tensi titles titles means padavi golu what we say chief tensi chief chief tensi titles so doctorate degrees and other honors some of which like the last had still to be explained satisfactorily to them now politics had given these many things to him. so many things to marcus ebe one abundant wealth inordinate wealth second chief tensi titles titles are given to the people like uh, rashtra nayaka mukha nayaka something like this they give titles and then doctorate degrees now doctorate degrees is the result of a lot of painful dedication hard work when you take up hard work then you get this doctorate degree phd doctor of philosophy or md doctor of medicine this doctorate is not that easy to earn what do you know there is something called uh what's that honorary doctorate you will find so many political leaders using the word using that prefix called doctor religious leaders using that prefix called doctor social workers using that prefix called doctor they are also doctor but this is the honorary doctorate delete that is conferred by the university in recognition for the special contribution of such people to the society some people are there in the society they don't go to the universities they don't study there but however you cannot ignore their contribution great people are there so such people what they do they take up great work in order to recognize their contribution in recognition of their contribution universities go up to them they don't come to the university universities go up to them and they confer honorary doctorate on such exceptionally great people so far so good but things are not always good every good thing comes to be bad one day it it gets corrupted nowadays what happens the people who have got money the who have got power who are in politics who are who have got the people's backing what they do they get these things degrees doctorate very easily these are called honorary degrees without doing anything without taking up research you become a doctor so doctorate degrees degrees not just a degree so many universities give these doctorate degrees it's difficult for us to get the doctorate degree from one university study pass the entrance exam then do course work this work that work then go on working file up the books publish your papers and go for viva finally and then after 3 years sometimes 4 sometimes 5 you will submit your thesis and then you will be awarded a doctorate now usually you know doctor means for the villagers they did not know even this doctor doctorate also honorary doctorate or phd or md they did not know all all these things they felt that doctor means a doctor should be able to heal the patients cure the patients do medicine inject medicine into the body so they did not understand so many degrees so many kinds of degrees and titles that's what it is said doctorate degrees and said and other other honors some of which had still to be explained satisfactorily to them and one of such degrees was this doctorate degree for in their naivety most simple they were very simple people they still expected a doctor to be able to heal the sick heal the sick heal the sick means cure the patient they thought that the doctor should cure the patient how come this marcus ebe he became a doctor anyhow honors and benefits had come so readily to the man whom they had given their vote for free of charge vote 
free of charge five years ago. Whatever, even though they, they did not understand, they understood this much that we gave this man vote. We did not charge anything to this man. We gave the vote free, free of charge. And he became so rich. And we remained bereft of any other benefit. We remained poor as usual, but he became rich. That they were now ready to try it a different way. What change of mode did sweep over these people? This one. This change of mood was guessed by Mr. Roof and he let it known to his master, Mark Sibe. The people's mood had changed. They gave you vote for free five years ago, but they are going to try it a different way. In the next para, we come to know about this great fellow's background. What is his background? Bleak, murky, ordinary, very humble, down to earth, very common. Their point was that only the other day, their point was that only the other day, he was not a too successful school teacher, mission school teacher. Look at this. What was he? He was not even a successful, not He was a not to a not to successful mission school teacher. Mark this one. Not too successful. He was just a teacher. Teacher turned politician. He was not too successful. A failed teacher he was. What was he before he became the leader? MLA or MD? He was not too he was a not too successful mission school teacher. The politics had come to their village. And he had wisely joined up. Some said just in time to avoid imminent dismissal arising from a female teacher's complaint. What is it? This fellow who worked as a teacher in a school and there was a female teacher, she had complained against him. See, the Minister of Culture. An uncultured fellow is given the charge of the Ministry of Culture. So cultured a fellow. Very ironical. He was not a too successful school teacher and he was about to be dismissed from the school. At that time, politics came. And what was the reason for his dismissal? That a female school teacher had complained against him. She had given a complaint. Today, he was chief of the honorable, Marcus Ebay. From the failed teacher to what is his journey to? Chief the Honorable. What was his condition today? He had two long cars. Two long cars. You might have seen that advertisement. Driver? Car Nikal. Car. I mean, it's very long. Car Nikal. So two long cars and had just built himself. The biggest house anyone had seen in these parts. He had built a very big house. He had built a very big house. Who? Marcus Ebe. He had built a very big house for himself. And such a house was not built by anybody anywhere in these parts. It was not even seen. Two long cars, a big house. But let it be said, one good thing about him was that none of these successes had gone to Marcus's head. That is, Marcus did not become egoist or the success did not make him disconnect, make himself disconnect from the people. As well they might. 
in the normal conditions such a success would go to one's head one would become mad with her. that success the success would madden many followers but he did not he did not lose contact with the people he remained devoted to the people wherever he could he left the good things of the capital and returned to his village which had neither running water nor electricity although he had lately installed a private electricity plant to supply electricity to his new house now why does the author say that the success did not uh, go to his head there is one reason for it and what is that reason we can see we can see that he returned to his village and what was his village like his village his village did not have the facility the amenity of uh, electricity water these are the basic things but even these things were not available in the village the author is killing two birds in one shot what's he trying to say on the one hand he says that this man is good he came back to his village he gave up the luxury and the glory and uh, all uh, comforts of the city life the capital city and came back to the village where there was no electricity there was no running water running water means uh, for pipeline the water comes to our doorstep or sometimes into our bathrooms and kitchen correct water wasn't there and uh, electricity wasn't there but again ironically he says that though he had managed to set up a plant private plant for providing electricity for himself on the one hand he says i mean he is trying to expose the leader while praising him success had not gone to his head he says he returned to his village on the other hand what is he saying he is saying that this is all a humbug hypocrisy the leader was quite a hypocrite on the one hand he shows that i have come for my, for my people on the other hand there is no electricity there is no water in the village no running water but he has managed to have a plant which supplies electricity to him couldn't he have done for the entire village he could have but he did not do it so he was a self centered fellow so chinwa achbe he is trying to expose this hypocrite hypocrisy now height of hypocrisy i will show you the man who did not care for his people how he shows that he loved his native place his native how he loved it he is trying to show he knew the source of his good fortune unlike the little bird who ate and drank and went out to challenge his personal spirit he was unlike that bird he knew from where it, this power came that's why he remained connected with his people he was unlike that little bird and what did that bird do that bird ate and drank and went out to challenge his personal spirit the bird comes a bird comes eats drinks chu chu ye dana kha pani pee bur like that challenging his personal spirit what a bird would do coming eating and just flying away he wasn't like that he knew from where the food came how is it exemplified materialized marcus had christened means named christened to his new house umofia mansions what is the name of his house umofia mansion and right here umofia mansions this is the name of the house built by this fellow marcus ibe marcus ibe 
Morphia. Why did he give the name of his village to his house? There was a purpose. In honor of his village. Gaon ke sanman mein. Gaon ki yaad mein. In the memory of, in the honor of his village. He gave the name of his village to his house. Like that we can also give the name to our houses. Kalaburgi Sadan, Kalaburgi Nilaya. Something like this. But that, does that really reflect your attachment for the place? Attachment for the play, place means what again? Are you attached to the place for the selfish reasons? Or you love the people? You love to serve the people of that place? Again, there is a lot of irony. And for the opening of this house, he had slaughtered five bulls. He had slaughtered five bulls and countless goats to entertain the people on the day it opened. It was opened by the Archbishop. The Archbishop had come to open for the opening ceremony, Gryo Pravesh. And how was it done? Five bulls were slaughtered. Remember this. Technical details, these digital details, digits slaughter. Five bulls were slaughtered, countless goats were killed. What for? To entertain the people. A feast. Commonly, you know, whether man is common or uncommon, big or small, we can control a human being by offering something to eat. If he offers people something to eat, they will be under your control. This is the easiest way to control the people. What is that? Feed the people. Give something to eat. Fulfill their basic need. You know, if somebody comes to quarrel with you to your house, and if you greet him well, offer him tea, snacks, or food, the decibels of his anger will come down. And he will be a favor. And that anger, animosity will come down. So here, five bulls were slaughtered, countless goats were killed, and thus. This was a kind of gimmick, a plan, a technique to please the people. And people were certainly pleased by him. Everyone was full of praise for him. Everyone praised him. You know, that's quite common for us. Everyone was full of praise for him. One old man said, our son is a good man. Why? Because he entertained them by slaughtering bulls and goats. He is not like the mortar. You know, Kharubanti, that mortar is the pestle, pestle and that mortar, which as soon as the food comes its way, turns its back on the ground. So, mortar, suppose it is kept upside down. Now, let me try it and show you. The mortar is something like this, made of stone. And here there is crystal made of wood. And with that we try to pound the fish. So this is the mortar, it's looking like a cap, but you just consider it like a mortar. Suppose if it is kept upside down, which is the back of that mortar? This is. In various cultures they call it. Suppose if it is kept like this, upside down. Like this. 
ಬಾಡಿ ಹಾಕೋದು ಅಪ್ಸೈಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಪೌಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟಲ್ what we have to do this back has to be turned to the ground so our son is a good man he is not like a mortar which turns its back to the ground the moment food comes its way turn in the back now this phrase you go turn back to someone turn back upon someone pit dikana means turning ungrateful he was not an ungrateful fellow what is the meaning of this saying here this proverb here what is it the mortar turning its back upon the ground the moment the food comes its way means becoming ungrateful ungrateful to whom to the people who had voted for him so he was not ungrateful like the mortar how was he he was a fellow who remembered what they had done for him and thus he left the glories and the comforts of the capital city and came back to mofia and mentioned a name his house after the village it became mofia mansions and at the opening ceremony he come uh, he slaughtered too many bulls and too many goats and thus entertained the people the men became very happy and they said our man is a very good man he is not like the mortar which as soon as the food comes its way it turns its back on the ground but when the feasting was over when they ate their fill the villagers told themselves that they had underrated the power of the ballot paper before one should before and uh, should not do so again they realized that he committed a mistake with our vote with that ballot paper i told you what is the ballot paper ballot paper is the piece of paper on which the names of the candidates contesting elections are written and against the name of our favorite candidate we have to mark or stamp or in some cases put our signature so that ballot paper we underrated we did not understand how important it was and how many things it's given to you to the fellow who gets our vote our ballot paper we have underrated it and this time we are not going to do and chief the honorable marcus e bay he knew everything because this was informed by rufus okk to him and he was very much ready chief the honorable marcus e bay was not unprepared he had drawn five months salary in advance you should remember this how much how many months five months salary he had drawn five months salary five months salary he had drawn five months salary in advance and changed a few hundred pounds into shining shillings and changed that salary and changed a few hundred pounds from that five months salary he took some pounds p o u n d currency pounds and converted them into shining shillings chillare chillare amount me convert kar diya usko and armed his campaign boys campaign is prachar campaign boys with eloquent little jute bags no bags how can bags be eloquent eloquent jute bags attractive we can say what is the literal meaning of eloquent eloquent say elocution elocution competitions we have in the college ಭಾಷಣ ಸ್ಪರ್ಧೆ ಎಲೋಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಾಷಣ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಲಾಕ್ವಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಇಲಾಕ್ವಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ಬಿ ಇಲಾಕ್ವಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇಲಾಕ್ವಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೆಲೋ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವೆಲ್ ದ ಫೆಲೋ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವೆಲ್ speak well means what speak well means make oneself appealing to others you have to use language to your purpose to further your prospect you have to become i mean using language you will please the people and people will try liking you 
that is called the greatest use of the language so you speak well means you become attractive that is whoever looks at you ah my fellow has come my friend has come so an eloquent fellow one who knows the art of speaking can become appealing to all appealing in the sense attractive the bags are eloquent literal meaning we will take the bags are attractive eloquent jute bags in the jute bags the currency was kept and it was given to the boys rather than summarizing myself i'll read the lines before you with eloquent little jute bags in the day he made his speeches in the day he made his speeches from the stages public stages mic in the hand flag in his hand shouting making the unrealistic promises sapno ke sauda kar showing you dreams whether they are realizable or unrealizable we don't know we are shown dreams and we like unfortunately the liars because truth is too tough to digest too hard to digest too difficult to digest digestion is impossible in case of the truth so we like the deceivers i wonder sometimes we are as if ready for deception we invite the people to deceive us as come on deceive me and we like the fellow who deceives us i want to watch to open our eyes we won't like him and this trait of the human beings is very much liked sorry very well tapped by the politicians and they go on making promises because the memory of the people they say is very short the memory of the people is very short you promise them today in the local language there is one proverb who and who now who and hyderabad that who means you are saying who means you are saying who to the person's demand you are telling a lie a blatant lie safed jhoot for safed jhoot bol rahe lekin on what basis are you not afraid that you would be exposed now because the politicians very well know the popular memory the people's memory is very short they promise more to you today and you become happy you say jai jindabad neither you get moon nor you get the roti by looking at which by looking at moon you remember roti neither moon nor roti nothing so during the days we used to make speeches like this at night his towers conducted their whispering campaign at night at night at night give me a second let us make the night at night his stalwarts conducted their whispering campaign i was telling you this whispering campaign whispering campaign why is it called whispering this is secret secret meetings with the people campaign is prachar Roof was the most trusted of these campaigners. This campaign was taken up by Mr. Roof. He was the most trusted one. Here, the meeting between the villagers is given. This meeting described. We have a minister from our village. Mr. Roof is talking with the villagers. He has called the head of the village. he has called the head of the village he has called the villagers and they are sitting they are sitting you can see we have represented them with three fellows standing tall before him is another fellow called roof we have a minister from our village one of our own sons see when it comes to gaining something we start showcasing our relationship जो नहीं है वो भी नाते याद आ जाते हैं और हमारी जरूरत पड़ने पर कोई हमारा नहीं रहता 
our sons how can anybody be our son when our own son is not our son how can anybody else be our son so the minister is from the village he is our son he said to the group of the elders in the house of obbu a5 is an wa obbu a5 this is a character obbu a5 is an wa O G B U E F I O U E F I S N. These are American spellings. We must take them by heart and remember. O U E F I S N. A man of high traditional title like Sarpanch Deshmukh Patil, Gowder. A fellow was there in that village. Along with them, some other villagers were there. He was talking with them. What greater honor can a village have? See, a man from our village. Has become a minister. He is our son. What a great honor for us! Do you ever stop to ask yourself why should we be singled out for this honor? Why should we be singled out for this honor? Why the ministry is given to the son of our village? Do you know about this? I will tell you. It's because we are favored by the leaders of PAP. that is because the high command the leader of pap has favored our son whether or not we cast a paper to mark us pap will continue to rule suppose if you think of not giving vote not casting vote in his level if you don't want to vote for him maybe that he will lose the election but pap will come to power and when pap will come to power at the center what will you do with other fellow here think of the pipe bone water they have promised us he is starting he has started luring the people think of the pipe bone water pipe bone running water that's what the pipe will come the water will come water will be brought to your house via the pipe right now what you have to do you have to go to the central well or any other storage of water rivers well lake and bring water from there think about that and if uh, pap will come to power anyway people's alliance party will come to power and if our minister our son become comes to power he is elected if he become minister again he has promised to the pipe bone water think about that besides roof and his assistant there were five elders in the room we have represented it by three people besides the group, group was there and there was an assistant of his an assistant along with him and other five people were there sitting One, two, three, four, five. Besides Ruth, his and his assistant, there were five elders in the room. An old hurricane lamp, which we can see, we can say lantern, something like that. Hurricane lamp with a cracked sooty glass chimney gave out a lovish light in their midst. The elders sat on very low stools. They are sitting on the low stools. The stools are shown here. Low stools. Just like our bathroom, those are small stools. They are sitting on the stools on the floor, directly in front of each of them. Lay two shilling pieces. There were two shilling pieces. We have shown three, but initially there were only two. Two have already been distributed. Outside, beyond the fastened door, the man looked. The man kept a straight face. We believe every word you say to be true," said Izenwa. Izenwa, the chief among the villagers, he said that okay, you are con trying to convince us, and we are ready to believe also. We shall every one of us drop his paper for Marcus, who would have uh, an ozo feast, who would have, who would leave an ozo feast 
and also feast and go to a poor ritual meal. Tell Marcus he has our papers and our wife's papers too. But what we do say is that two shillings is shameful. Two shillings they should give. They said that okay, we believe every word you say. We are ready to agree with you. Not only Marcus eBay will have our boat, but he will have the boat of our wives also. Our wives too will vote for him. But what we say, two shillings is too small an amount. He brought the lamp close and uh, tilted at them money before him as if to make sure he had not mistaken its value. He brought the lamp and just uh, tilted the lamp and checked the shillings once again as if he was not sure whether they were true. Suppose if somebody gives us a currency note, what we do? Even though we know, we try to see it like this. The denomination on it is a 10 or 100 or 50. Just to make a show that you want to confirm it. Two shillings. Yes, two shillings is too shameful. If Marcus were a poor man, if Marcus had been a poor fellow, and again they say, he should not be poor. If Marcus were a poor man, which our ancestors forbid, I should be the first to give him my paper free, as I did before. I would have given him vote for free, had he been poor, as he was before. I did not, we did not ask him for money yesterday. Yesterday means the last time. Kal means that we have not asked Kal means not exactly the previous day. Yesterday does not mean the previous day. It means past, recent past. In the past, we did not ask for anything. We shall not ask him tomorrow. But today is our day. We have climbed the Europa tree today. And it would be foolish not to take down all the firewood we need. So here two proverbs are there, leave an ozo feast and go for a poor ritual meal. Ozo feast, why should we leave the feast and go to eat some ritual meal? Ritual meal means simple food. We are going to get a great benefit from Marcus eBay. Why should we leave this great benefit and go to some smaller benefit? Don't want that. Definitely we vote for Marcus eBay, they say. And again one more proverb comes here, that uh, to Go up the Euro, climb the Euroco tree and come down without the firewood. So if you have climbed the tree, when you have gone up, you are supposed to cut the branches and collect the wood. When you have the things before you, if you don't take benefit of that situation, you will be called a fool. So how is it connected to this situation? They say that today the things are in our favor. Marcus Ely is a rich fellow. He wants our boat. With our boat, he will become again richer. In the past, we did not charge anything. We gave our boat uh, free of charge. And now the situation is different. He is not poor and he wants our boat. We will not give our boat for free. Anyway, he wants our boats. So as he wants our boats, let him give us money. And two shillings, that's very small. And if you do not take benefit of this situation, when the situation is in our favor, if we don't reap the benefit, we would be called fools. We have climbed up the tree. And if you don't cut the branches of the tree, wood, and get firewood, we would be fools. So we want more benefit. Roof had to agree. Roof could understand this. Because he too had taken much benefit from his master. He had lately been taking down a lot of firewood himself. Only yesterday he had asked Marcus for one of his many rich robes. Only the other day he had asked Marcus Ibe for one of his rich robes. A robe means dress R O B E. This is one of the rich robes. Marcus Ibe. After dress was a child, and without hesitation, he got it. And he had got it. Last Sunday, Marcus's wife, who was Marcus's wife, the very woman who had brought him into trouble, had objected like any, like a woman she was. 
when Ruth pulled out his fifth bottle of beer from the refrigerator. From the refrigerator of Marcus Ebe, Roof had pulled out fifth bottle of the beer. His wife got angry for this. She was roundly and publicly rebuked by her husband. So her husband did not get angry with Rufus O.K.K. because he was a practical fellow. But he got angry with his wife in the public. To cap it all, to cap, to cap, C.A.P. To cap it all, Roof had won a land case recently because, among other things, he had been shuffled driven to the disputed site. So he understood the elders about the fire. What is this? The people said that we would be called fools if we do not collect the firewood when we have gone up the tree, when we have climbed the tree and we come down without the, without the firewood, we will be called fools. And he understood this, what the villagers are saying. Villagers maintain that if they do not reap benefit out of this situation, which is very much in their hands, in their favor, they would be called fools. Rufus could understand this. Rufus OKK himself had taken benefit. One, the rich rub, which he shown well in here. He told his master that he had got a rich rub, give me that, and he is very here. Second, he took the fifth beer bottle, and his master got angry with his wife, but not with Rufus OKK. And third, he had won a land case. That was only for the reason he had, he had been driven in a car to that place, chauffeur driven. So he understood that when I am taking benefit of the situation, the people would of course take. And he was willing to give some more money. Of course, uh, we have finished our duration. And tomorrow, in the morning, once again, I will meet you. And we have to complete this lesson by. Uh, yes, by tomorrow, we will complete this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. See you again.